Hey, what's up, everybody around the world? Welcome back to another tutorial in Revis Global Knowledge. Today, I'm going to share with you a six tie Oscar 10 panel for facade design in Revis. Okay, here I just list down for you. We got six tie and tip and trick to create that. So the tutorial I think will take about 10 minutes only to create that is a very fast one if you know the trick to use your curtain panel is more effectively. Now I think it's pretty much for introduction. Let's switch into our project together. Here we are in Revit architecture interface. So what I'm going to do for to achieve our six tie of curtain panel facade. First thing I'm going to our architecture tab, then go to our wall, then I will change our height to until level 2 only, then just simply drag up for first point until second point, then I'm going to tie it out for 4.8 meter. Hit escape a couple times. Let me see first. Okay. Okay, our wall is slant early because we work in our 3D environment. So again, I'm going to our wall again. Then just tie it out 4.8 meter again. Sorry. 4.8 meter. Hit escape a couple times. Once I done that, my wall is just a generic wall 200 millimeter. So I'm going to change from 200 millimeter wall to our store front like this. Then I'm going to use our array tool to array that. Just array it until such because we want to create six type of our curtain wall AR for array. Just array it like this and make it for spacing 5.5 meter. And I'm going to like that. Then tie it for six. Hit us get a couple time. Once I done that, I just select all of them. Then ungroup that then I'm going to copy as well just like all of them again then just copy that I will extend our spacing about let's say we consider about 500 millimeter for every spacing it has get a couple time regarding for our curtain panel there basically when reality construction here we got our slab is extend until here so I didn't need to create beam only the second the the sixth thing, the sixth curtain panel is using SDM panel. That's why we need to use our structure to connect that. So now we start for our first panel. First thing I'm going to select here, we create our lower tile, just like either type. And of course, I don't want to affect thing my curtain wall store front. So I'm going to duplicate it. Just give the name it for S1. Then here, just a quick one. You just control on your property panel there. And I will check for vertical grid for none and check our horizontal to fit this then then i will make it for 400 millimeter for every spacing then i can hit okay just a little real as you can see here now we got our lower tile here it's quite fast and of course for adjustment our mullion here i will show you later so here i'm going to create another facade also there's a canvas that I'm going to change it for a curtain wall and I'm going to architecture tab we need to add our grill, curtain grill first just make it center the second facade we call it for simple lower just add million add for center here like this once I done that I just link my panel here then I think my panel not on center let's make adjustment first I want to make it on center. Yep, like this. Okay, then I just like my curtain panel. Go to the tie. Don't forget to duplicate your family because you, we don't want to affect our family. So I'm going to give it for S2. It's okay. As you can see here, but obviously we our sitting is same as before. You just change it for fact is that and make it for 400 millimeter. Regarding for vertical grid, you just leave it like this for none. Hit apply, then it's okay, I think. And go to architecture tab, go to our million, just add our grid there. Inside our setting, we also can adjustment actually. As you can see here, we got two diff different facade, and the third facade is our lower grill. How could we do that? Simple way, we just go to our architecture tab, 
Then go to our content grid. I just manually put it like this. Just manually manually make it like this. As you can see here. So here I can play around whatever I want. I just manually made it like this. That's how we call our lower grid there. So now we got a three different lowers for facade. On the sixth thing, I'm going to make those kind of deep overhang. How could we do that? I just change this one to from curtain wall panel to our curtain wall. Then I just delete grill. And of course, same thing before I need to duplicate first. Just make it for F4. It's okay. Once I done that, I'm going to adjustment my fit distance there. I think I just leave it like this. I will manually add that. Just start from select one of them like this, then HI for hidden element. Then just start from front here. I'm going to our curtain grill in order to add another grill there. Just simply add it like this. I think we'll be make it like this. I simply start for center first and second. I think I want to make it inside my setting is better for me in the case. So I'm going to change it to HR first. Like here again. Go to the type. I need to duplicate. Make it for F4. Then I'm going to make it for quick number and for quick distance, I think. For every distance, we just make it for 400. Okay. Okay. As you can see, it's same as our mullion before, but I want to change that not like before. So how could I do that? I just go to our mullion here, then go to edit type. Inside my mullion there, I touch, I can change my mullion profile to make my facade design is more interesting because this one is just a deep overhang. In order to make deep overhang, I will offset for 200 minus 200. Mean our glass is coming out. Basically, on sitting here is mean our glass is go inside into it is hard and go actually is hard and if i go this one is offset our glass will become out all so i'm going to change our thickness about 400 and i'm going to sorry i need to hit escape first because i don't want to affect my million here i need to duplicate first then change it for 400 thickness like this and here i can wrap around just minus 200 and make this one a 400 for wick on side 1 and side 2, I just simply make it for 20 by 20 for thickness. Then again, it's okay. Once I done that, I just add all grid here. Just add like this, as you can see here. Now we got our deep overhang there. And of course, I can rotation my deep overhang there. Just rotate it for 15 degree. It depends on what I want. Let's say I want to rotate our deep overhang 15 degree. Hit apply. And it's okay as you can see here and the last the five guy there is i will make it for those kind of slower shape i'm going to edit type again sorry i'm going to make this one to cut and roll first delete grill then go to edit type and i'm going to duplicate it let's make it for f5 for facade 5 then i can hit okay one i done that i just take i for Hidden element. I'm going to hide the element because it's easier for me to walking around to adding wall curtain grids. I just simply add it like this about for 400. I think we just simply add for center first and add here like this. Another one like this. It has get a couple of time. Then I'm going to select my grill, my mullion there. Just go edit family and duplicate. I will make it for 200 by 200 depth. Also 200 by 200 is okay. Then what I done that I did to offset same as before, just minus 100 in order to make my all my cut mullion here coming out. So I'm going to make it for 200. The reason I give this 200 by 200 because our dimension there is also 200. So make it 200 by 200 and go into okay. One you want to change material, you just you can change here also. It was not going to change yet, just okay. As you can see here now from there i can change also just make it 200 by 200 and then i'm going to make here go to our sorry go to our mullion here 
and make this guy for yeah for 400 i think make like this like this and the last one there i just simply make it 200 by 200 or so like this hit us get a couple of time then select all like this go to edit type and i'm going to our um, i think just leave it like this here you can avoid it also let me avoid it out just delete it out as you can see here okay as you can see here hr for a by element now we got five different type of facade already for curtain panel so the last one here i'm going to change it to curtain board also and just the liquid line is a boring sign don't worry about that then we can duplicate it just make it for f6 for the final one and i will just meant for vertical grill for foot distance and make it for two meter and make this guy for distance also make here about two meter and make the vertical for 1.6 meter or so it's okay you can see here one i got my grill that i can go to my file there to create another family go to new then go to family english then finding for curtain panel wall from there it will be open another four template there so i just close for reference and let i just leave for 3d and interior now i want to just want it just make it for two meter and adjustment our grill there is 800 remember our grid there is a parametric one you assign for your solid here form here go to create tab go to extrusion then i will start like this just make it like this and i will lock it as well and i will make it for 200 millimeter or 20 meter for glass for laminate glass and of course i will assign a parameter as well for material just make it for material like this it's okay then hit apply we just hit finish again then go to our create tab simply create our hollow section still just draw it for rectangle i will draw it like this and for a hollow section still i think when 25 by 25 is enough for structure hit us get a couple of time one i done that and i don't care about the spacing first because i want to make this two three as fast as can if you want to align one or adjustment here you need to play around with that what is exact dimension from here to here is your what you want so i'm going to select here again then i just make it for mirror here hit us get then select two of them again draw mirror again just simply draw mirror like this hit a sketch then i'm going to offset this guy for 400 millimeter and of course i can assign for new material or so just make it for all system still it's okay then i'm going to hit finish go to my 3d there okay so i'm going to join it i need to join it first is it everything is fine one everything if i just load into my project then i'm going to select my panel there just go to edit type then check our curtain panel to our family that we create let's see where is it here it apply okay this one is coming out so we can rotate that no worry about that As you can see here it is aluminum panel facade and this one is lower shed and this one is deep overhang grill lower simple lower and lower tile that's how you can create your six high oscar panel facade in apply into your project or school project okay guys i think it's pretty much for this tutorial thank you guys for joining me from start to finish and don't forget to hit subscribe button below if you are first time here because i'm going to release for review tutorial every week for three or four tutorial it depends i got free time or not thank you guys for watching and i see you for another tutorial in revis and have a nice weekend thank you